As an international photographer, taking pictures is my art and my passion. And to me, art and passion should be fun. I use a DSLR and macro lens, but you don't have to have specialized tools to express yourself creatively. Chances are, your smartphone can do amazing things, but if you love the work of a point and shoot, or you love action shots of a GoPro, or if you want to create a vintage look of a Polaroid, find what speaks to you and for you. What I hope to accomplish in this video is walk you through how I compose photos. I'll walk you through how I take consideration into where I position an item, and what items I include to accentuate and add to the overall composition. I'll use specific examples with pictures I've taken and used before, but these guidelines should shine light on what my thought process is going into taking photos and help get your gears turning for your own beautiful Instagrammable shots. I hope you find this helpful. If so, share and subscribe. Now, let's get started. When photographing designer goods, you want to create an ambiance of luxury. The tone should be rich, vibrant, and bountiful. In this shot, I illustrate that with a classic cornucopia motif. This style is popular online and in print, and can be seen on Instagram and fashion magazines. A cornucopia is a symbol of bounty that dates back to Renaissance art and is universally understood even if the viewer doesn't realize the impact it has at the moment. Besides having the cornucopia of luxurious items coming out of the purse itself, I extend the theme by photographing the purse on a silk scarf with an ocean motif and position it in a way so that the bag opens to the center of the coral reef art. This ocean theme reinforces the exotic stingray leather and the contrasting colors create a vibrancy that is reminiscent of a coral reef. The objects themselves are chosen to highlight visual themes in a variety of ways. Gold, the universal symbol of wealth, accentuates the clasp, in contrast with the navy gray tones of the leather and the background of the scarf. The mirror symbolizes vanity, and more instantly compliments in a way it says, Hello, beautiful. The YSL rouge volupe that every beauty guru online uses is a shade coral, which ties again to the coral reef motif. Note, too, the positioning of these items. They are offset at angles that follow the green bands that are found in the scarf, creating a sense of motion for your eyes to follow. This explosion is meant to bring life to the photo, and one should feel like the bag is still a living thing in its natural environment. The strap is positioned with two purposes. It circles the overflowing coral reef motif, and in doing so, is reminiscent of a jellyfish. This photo also creates an ambiance of luxury, but also sets out to tell a story in a fun way. In my mind, I imagined a woman who has realized she is late for a date, or perhaps a gala event. She haphazardly runs, tossing her essentials in a pile onto a fur coat, managing to take this picture before putting herself together to run out the door. The whole picture is shot on a diagonal and is bisected from the upper left-hand corner to the bottom right hand corner, moving the eye across that axis to see the whole image. As a photographer, you set out to control where the eye moves when viewing an image, so keep that in mind when looking through your viewfinder or screen. By creating that motion, you give a static image a sense of being dynamic and fluid. The accessories used reflect themes common to Chanel, such as her love of pearls with multiple strands of pearls and earrings. A golden CC brooch that is repeated in the CC logo on the brand's signature slingback shoes. The shoes, asymmetrically angled as they are, convey the urgency of flight, as this woman has carelessly thrown her shoes in her need to get dressed and go, even though the positioning was very intentional to create that diagonal line. If you were to draw out the lines visible on this photo created by the objects, you will find a series of triangles. A triangle created by the shoes themselves, the empty space between the chain and the pearls, the overall composition of the bag down to the tip of the shoe. Triangles naturally follow the golden ratio that the human eye finds appealing, and sets of threes are more dynamic than pairs. 
All this on a plush backdrop of white fur, which creates a break in texture that contrasts with the smooth leather and pearls. The fur also symbolizes richness and luxury. If an element can perform multiple tasks, all the better, and it will create a more cohesive whole with less. For this shot, the focus is absolutely on the color of the purse. The vibrant red-orange tone demands attention, and yet is contrasted by the serenity of soft shades framing the bag. From the lace applique below the pedestal, the flowers and curtains, which also add a serene softness, the perennially popular diptyque candle, the red lipstick, once again the infamous YSL Rouge Volupte, is chosen for both its red, that complements the leather perfectly, and the gold, which goes with the hardware and the gold embossed lean logo. Here, triangles are created by the bag itself and again with the strap. The eye is meant to follow the bag and then be carried by the strap to its end. The pedestal, more than being just a neutral accent to the photo, acts to elevate the purse due to its small size so that it can be more pronounced. Without it, the strap would not have that directional movement. The drop of the strap helps to illustrate the suppleness of the leather as well. Here, I put focus on the foreground, allowing the curtains in the back to be a soft blur. This can be hard to achieve without the depth of a DSLR lens, but the effect can be emulated quite well with modern dual camera smartphones or basic editing software. Here, my theme is romance, the Parisian fashion aesthetic. The Celine Medium Classic is, to me, such a pure distillation of Parisian style, I felt the need to surround it with this look. So we have a candle from Dutique, another French company, and a pair of books about Parisian fashion, which lend a photo an air of French style and thoughtfulness. The roses are the exact same shade as the bag and the book at the bottom creating a triangle between those elements that contrasts a triangle created by the neutral tones of the table and the walls. Red roses are classical symbols of sensual love, and the softness of the petals reflect the texture of the box calfskin. Here I play with light and shadow, and intentionally put the purse in the background, which lends it an air of mystery and a certain je ne sais quoi. French style is meant to appear effortless and chic, the purse is simply an element of the whole, without necessarily being the focal point. In doing this, I am trying to distill Parisian style into a photo. It takes practice and experimentation to reach success. For every shot that conveys what I want, there are dozens that are disposed of. When I first got my Celine Stingray, I took it out to a French cafe and took some quick shots with my order. Though cute, it didn't speak to me. Also, hindsight lets me see that the composition would have been improved with the latte pulled closer to the foreground. This would have created a more dynamic image, though I stopped when I felt other people were looking at me funny. I don't typically go out of my way to purchase props for my photo shoot outside of something like fresh flowers. I work with what I have, be it a lipstick or a fabric element, be creative with what you have, and don't be afraid to experiment. Here, I have two compositions I played with before I settled on shooting my Stingray bag on the silk scarf with the ocean theme. First, I recalled a tray I had with the same color and texture and took a series of photos in that tray. However, be cautious. Too much repetition can work against you and create a dull photo. By having the same texture and color, the bag becomes lost. Compare this to the image of the teddy bear. Here we play with similar tones and color, but the texture contrasts between the rigid, beaded structure of the stingray leather and the softness of the bear's fur. Find elements that can both accent and contrast. Alternatively, I could have found an object that repeated the rigid beaded structure, but changed the color to have contrast instead. I hope these examples and thoughts lead to your own creativity with the things you love. I can't wait to see what beautiful photos you take. Thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, subscribe and like this video. Till next time.